What is good, Neo family? It's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, we're going to be talking about the one and only Neo stock, what you should be anticipating going into the future for tomorrow, as I give you guys my price prediction based off technical analysis. Now, before I say anything, I do have to mention a couple of things first. First thing is I'm not a financial planner, so please don't take this as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. And not only benefits me, but benefits the entire new community as a whole. And the last thing is if you guys can, please check out the Moomoo link down below and in the description. If you do sign up for Moomoo and deposit $100, you're not only going to qualify for up to five free stocks, each worth up to $3,500, but you're also going to get a free NEO share. So if you want this opportunity, please check out the offer down below. With that out of the way, let's get on with the video. So Looking at NEO, we're up 12.24% for the day. Let's go, guys. But I do want to talk about something else that's very important. So looking at the current chart, you guys can see that we have a massive gap right over here at the five-minute chart. And if you look at the two-minute hour chart, check this out right here. We also see uh, as we were pulling back before, and we are starting to run up, but we are also seeing a gap right here. So that's an indicator that we may drop one last time into the future. So it is a bearish signal, but going into the future for tomorrow, I do see something a little bit different. So we did get a sell a signal from the super trend, and that's an indicator that we could see a bit of a drop tomorrow, but I don't necessarily know when it's going to come because the coincidence is we do have CPI data coming out. So there's a possibility that the CPI data could show that inflation was higher than anticipated, and that could cause the market to take a big bit of a hit, right? We saw the IWM in the green, it's on the SPY green. We saw, I think the NASDAQ was green, but these things may turn a little bit red just for a couple of days. And that could cause NEO to drop just a little bit. So I just wanted to inform you guys about that. Now, other RSI indicators or the MACD, they're indicating that we do see a small drop towards the very end. RSI did drip. I'm sorry, it dipped a little bit. I think if you look at, let me see the two hour chart, you guys can actually see the bigger picture. From the two hour time frame, we can see RSI dropped. It ran really high up, but it is starting to descend a little bit to 53.63. Uh, and on top of that, the MACD was descending. It went a little bit up. So I wouldn't be surprised if it starts to curl up, find that resistance at around 21 tomorrow. We may start to drop a little bit, right? To maybe the $19 range or $20 range flat. And after that, I think after the CPI data comes out, it may be worse than anticipated, at least slightly. That could cause the market to pull back just a little bit. And then we do have this gap fill. So that may get filled in the next upcoming days. I just want to prepare you guys for that. But then going back into the future, I do see us reversing and still running up. So I do see a little bit more downside than upside tomorrow. I want to prepare you guys for that. So we're probably going to drop to like the 20s to $19 range. We also have a gap fill at the 17, I'm sorry, the $18 range. I'm sorry, I said 17, I mean 18. So we are going to pull back most likely to 18 relatively soon. So I just wanted to prepare you guys for that. I'm still very bullish, but don't worry, guys. For the short term, yeah, there are going to be ups and downs. Long term, I'm still very, very bullish. That's what I have for this one. I thank you all for listening, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Neo to the moon, and peace out.